um, I want to try to define some, some terms that you hear a lot and in a very simplistic way. You'll hear the terms amp, volt, ohm, and watt. Okay? Uh, it's important to understand the difference. If you're not going to understand anything else, it's important to recognize that in uh, most cases when people are talking about electricity, they almost use amp, volt, and watt interchangeably. They're just saying there's electricity. But really, they're representing completely different concepts, completely different um, uh, explanations of what's happening with electricity or electron flow. Okay, so first let's talk about, I, I like to talk about this in terms of a highway. Okay, think of a, a wire or a conductor like a highway. All right, if I were to stand on the side of a highway that's in rush hour traffic, okay, and I were to take a picture, and it was just a still shot, and I saw all these cars lined up, I would say, and I showed it to someone, I would say, look there, that's a busy road. There's a lot of cars on that road. They would say, wow, there's a lot of cars on that road. But all that I'm doing, those cars may not be moving at all. They may just be sitting there. They may sit there for hours. I said, look, look at all those cars. Think of the cars on the road like Ambridge. Okay? We're saying... This is how many cars there are at this moment. Snapshot, boom, cars. Okay, it has nothing to do with how fast they're going. On the same, in the same way, I could talk about voltage, and I could say, I could go there at two in the morning, and there's some, you know, guy in a Kawasaki Ninja going 300 miles an hour or whatever. Right? Yeah, you probably can't go that fast in the bus. He's going real fast. And uh, uh, and I could say, wow, this road is busy because there's a really fast guy on this road. Right. Well, it may not be busy, it just may be the one guy in this Kawasaki Ninja going impossibly fast, 300 miles an hour, remember that. So, neither really gives you the full picture. One is telling us how fast are the cars going, the other is, tell, is asking how many cars are there, right? At a given moment, how many cars are there, how many cars are there, right? So, how many cars are there, how fast are they going? That's a really unscientific explanation. But it, but it works as a way to kind of help us think about what we're talking about when we say voltage. So when we say voltage and amperage, what we're really saying is velocity, force, that's voltage. Quantity of electrons, that's amperage. Wattage is combining the two. How many cars, how fast are they going? So it, it, you could say something like wattage would be like, all right, how many cars are passing this point per minute? Would be a way of explaining kind of what wattage is. It's an overall picture of how much electrons are being moved over a period of time. Okay, does that make sense? You follow me there?